Hey there guys and welcome back to some more Old Republic. Well, not to the Old Republic. Anyway, um, when we left off, I was through there. Um, actually, I don't think you can see my mouse, but I was through that passageway that I'm kind of facing. And then I came through here and there's another house. So yeah, also while watching the past four videos back, I noticed that the music was a little bit too overpowering. So I've turned that down now and where are we going? Over here, right. Nope, okay, maybe not. You have to just do that every video, just once, just because it's awesome. Hmm. Is this a dead end then? <sighs> Looks like there's a ship in there, according to the map. Yep, I think it's a dead end. Let's return then. Actually, let's check out the map. There is a way off there. Hmm. Okay, so let's head. Whoa. That was weird. A bridge. Everyone likes bridges. Oh god, here we go. Die! Is that? And I, I swear it was coloured different when I played this yesterday. Unless it's. Oh wait, that one's coloured correctly. Oh, that's an Arduino. Okay, never mind. Oh god, I'm going to die. Crap. Um, run away. Zaba, what are you doing? Kill. Great. Yep, come on, own. Wow. That was that was stupid. Oh my god. First death of the game. Actually I don't know if I've died in the ten episodes previous. Let's go back over there and take a look. Ignore my dog if you can hear him. He's uh, downstairs, but my microphone seems to be very sensitive to picking up other sounds. Right, there we go. Throw a grenade. Boom. Zelda. Why? Oh god, I'm going to die as well. Cure, come on. Med pack myself. Help me here, Karth. Oh god, no, 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 no. Med pack. Oh god, I don't have a. No. Uh, shield myself. Check out the Arduino. Ah, crap. Yay. Karth's not going to own this one, but. Uh... God damn it. You're gonna give me the you've died thing, or you're just gonna spin around? Nope, it's gonna fade to black. Okay. Right. I am going to. Wear that. I know it gives me like absolutely no defense, but, um. Checking out my equipment here. Oh 
things go. God damn it. Okay. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Oh well, we'll just go this way. I can put my arm back on, I guess. Oh, who's hit? Who's hit? Bo look. Bo look. Okay then. Apprentice. Oh wait, I forgot. Apprentice, your arrival here is well timed. Who are you? I am Bolok, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent here by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication does not pose as a problem, as both the suspects... Oh god. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here... Okay, this is really... I can't read that properly because of its the colour contrast, but um... Yeah, I'll just let you guys read it. Because he's an alien, so he doesn't speak English. Though you Jedi are not yet full Jedi, perhaps... For God's sake, perhaps you can insist, assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives, both of the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I cannot solve this case for you. There is little benefit if you do not solve the problem yourself. If you are unable to come up with a satisfactory re result, uh, re resolution, then I will take this mentally enclave and deal with this myself. According, <coughs> according to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier, before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for the most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds, as it was earlier today. But that is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. This dead man, called Anetic, was shot in the back with a blast rifle. What a weak man. Shot in the back with one, one bullet. Seriously. A rifle was found laying near his body. Oh god. Stupid skip. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Haddon Gold. He was unarmed. The other was Ricard Lussoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Ah, both men did say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there is more to do with this than what I have been ta told. Is there anything else I should know? <laughs> God, I cannot do that voice, seriously. There is one last thing. When I arrived, Han was holding his side and Rickard was favouring one of his legs. Oh, for God's sake, I skipped that sentence as well. If if there is anything else you need, I... Arg. Okay, so... Here we have to sort out a murder. Who murdered... Which of these two guys, Han and Gold or Rickard Lassoff, murdered Coldenetic? The body of Coldenetic, who was apparently shot from behind with a blaster. Well done. Okay, so let's go speak to one of them. Um, I'm gonna go alphabetically and choose Haddon. Indeed. Should I have? I hope you can hear the voiceover. Go on. Okay then. Right, let's go and talk to Rickard.